right, coming up next, it is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between Kimbo Slice and the Ream, Alistair Overeem. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy more often than not. You're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division. And a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Overeem is three years his senior. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he will be. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? Fight. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, he won his last fight by submission. Now we'll see what he can do to follow it up. He is the favorite here tonight. He is the reigning defending champion, and that brings with it a whole lot of confidence. Going into that last fight, he was able to silence all of those doubters, and now he is the hunted in this division. He believes he is unquestionably the number one guy in the world, and he believes the last fight was the tip of the iceberg. He is going to start dusting guys left and right, beginning with this number one contender here tonight. Just misses with the jab. Nice punch by the ring. Well, it's hard to remember a fighter gaining this much popularity and hype in a relatively short amount of time. He's... Wow! This 
could be it. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is gonna lose his title if he can't recover. Wow! Overreported on! And there comes the separation now. Oh, straight right. Oh! And there's a single attempt. And he hits the takedown. Working on a guillotine. He's free from the guillotine. He's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin, throws his other leg over. He wants to lock it in place. And he's out of the triangle. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. How about that shin? Vicious oh, left hand. A big left hand. Nice leg kick. Big kick to the head. He is stunned. He's got him hurt here. From the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. He saw the wince. He, he landed a left hand there. He postures into place. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. exactly what he pulled off. Absolutely brutal technique. He got them both up in the air, and when they slam down to the ground, you can see the moment they make impact, his opponent goes limp. Brutal KO via slam. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.